Hi, y'all. Okay, so I'm back. And this video has been highly requested, so I figured I would go ahead and do it today. You know, the day after Halloween, everyone has come to the realization that the holidays are coming and we need some money, right? <laughs> so, how are y'all doing? So let's talk about how to get money out of a sugar daddy. Okay, so first thing you need is a sugar daddy. So, you know, you got to go get you one of those first. Or, you know, if you've already married and have, have a help, husband that has a little money or something, whatever, these tricks could work on him too. But this is more for sugar daddies, okay? You could try them and tweak them to work for husbands and, and boyfriends. But these clues and hints and tips right here are more for sugar daddies, okay? Because they don't know you and everything is different okay how you doing y'all like my hair yes it's real it's not synthetic it's real um so i'm gonna give y'all the scoop on this hair in a little while okay um where you can get it okay so here's the dealio if you are um, if you have a sugar daddy or a guy who's wealthy that you've been seeing, and you can y'all hear me good before I start talking? Is the mic good? Do I need to talk louder or is this good? Okay. So also FYI, um, don't like make any trolls leave because Sometimes if you click on the troll, it'll mess up all the comments. So if you're, um, I saw the moderator, don't, don't kick any trolls out. Okay. So here we go. How to get money from your sugar daddy. First of all, if it's a new sugar daddy, you're going to have to lay it on thick. Okay. So when you first meet, you know, be extra happy, smile, play that dumb, innocent, young even if you're not young, just play innocent and dumb, okay? Wide eye, you know, like when you first meet them, just be like, you know, smiling is very important, okay? Remember, you're trying to lift up his vibration to make him happy every time he's with you. Happy people spend money, okay? Happy people don't mind giving. Happy people want to make you happy so you can make them happy, okay? Happy people don't mind sharing. Okay, if if you're not getting money, it's because the person is not happy. Okay, and it also means that they're still filling you out. So smile really big. I don't care if you got ugly teeth. You know that confidence is gonna still help. You know, smile really big, or if you don't want to show your teeth, smile like that. Okay, so smile really big when you first meet them and say hi it's so nice to meet you finally you know the day has come because y'all probably been texting whatever whatever you know so just be really excited every moment with you must be a memory you know what i'm saying something that he can reflect back on to be happy so when you first meet him you're super excited you know this is all an act this is called acting okay hi nice to meet you i'm super excited i'm so glad we finally get to meet okay so John, yes. Do you remember my name? Like, you know, play with them, flirt with them. Look at them, turn your head, flirt. Do you remember my name? Of course I do. <laughs> How could I forget? I'll say, ha ha ha, I was hoping you would, you know, flirt big time. Don't just be nervous and like, hi, you know. So then you grab his hand, okay? Go for the hand because that is what you want, that contact. So you can tell if he's nervous, if his hand is sweating, if he's shaking, and then you know how to get him. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> so you walk up to him and you grab his hand or you give him a hug when you greet him. Hi. Da, 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 and then grab his hand and say, let's go. You know, and then you kind of lead him like a child. Like, I'm so excited, you know, but not like you're the leader, but like. You're just, you know, happy. 
and then you kind of slow down and then you walk side by side okay so this is going to give him the impression that you're happy like a child and he's not going to see you as someone who's super independent that can pay everything and don't need help right so you're going to be very childlike when you meet him um so then when y'all get to the restaurant or wherever y'all are going still be excited at the table but not super excited to where you look out of place just be like, oh my God, this is such a nice place. You know, whisper, don't be screaming. Oh my God, this is such a nice place that you chose. Or this is such a nice place. And just be looking around like you're impressed. Even if you've already been there, just be impressed. Oh my God, this is such a nice I don't know what to order. What do you suggest? You know, can you help me decide on the name? Everything you need help with, okay? Get him in the habit of helping you from day one, date one, everything you need help with okay so if i feel like you're actually doing it <laughs> so i've done it so many times i know how to do it all right so so now you're on the date you got your menu you know got your menu open and you're like i just don't know what to order can you please help me like help me decide There's so many good choices Will you help me, you know, be the damsel? Will you help me? Oh, sure. What do you really like to eat? I'm like, oh, you know, I eat, I like to eat this and that. Well, what do you suggest? And then you lean over. You know, if you have some cleavage showing, show that a little bit too. And he'll be like, oh, well, this is really good. You should try this. Oh, okay. Um, you know, if you want wine, you'd be like, well, um, am I so, you know, you, would you want to pick a wine or you know what do we drink what's a good drink to drink with this you know i heard that if you pair wine with dinner it makes it taste even better oh yeah this kind of wine is good or whatever you know make him feel like he's the man okay okay so then when the waiter comes the waiter's gonna say uh what would you like to drink what would you like to eat you just look at him like like you're frozen like a deer in headlights you're like and then he'll take over an order. So now he's used to taking charge. He's used to helping you. He has taken the role of leader in this date so far. So now he sees you as demure and helpless and very feminine. Okay. I'm getting to the allowance part. Hold up. Um, the seduction candle, I think it's going to be back in stock. Check the website. Um, so now the dinner comes, you haven't discussed money or anything. Okay. You've talked about small talk, you know, um, while the food is coming and while you're drinking wine, this is where all the compliments come in, but not too obvious. Okay. So you'll be like, you know, when I hugged you back there, I felt like you had some little muscle up here. You work out. Did you play any sports? You know, do you, you know, whatever, you know, compliment his physique, even if you don't bad look at when i hugged you i felt some little tone some muscle you know you have to be personable you know and don't just sit there dry you know get excited you know you work out oh yeah i work out three times a week oh i can tell you know i need to get back to the gym you know um so talk about his nice body if you even if you don't have one um and then when the food finally comes and they set it in front of you, look down at it and be like, ooh, like, like it's turning you on. Okay. That's how you do it. Let me show you. You got to move. You got to do the body. Body language is very important. Okay. So when you see the food, but don't say it out loud. Just, ooh, can't wait to dig into this, you know, and look up and look, like, look, do your head down like, like this and look at it. Like, ooh, I can't wait to dig into this. And then like when you, when you bite it, like, mm, this is so good. I'm so glad I let you help me choose yours, you know? And he's gonna be like, I told you you would like it, mm, you know? So you're seducing him the whole time, but not in a super sexual way. It's just subliminal, right? So um, now you need some more help. Um, I need, you know, think of something that you need the waiter to do for you and let him know, your date know that you need something from the waiter and let him 
tag him down. You know, he's working for you now. Now he's working for you on your behalf. He's pausing his dinner to get the waiter's attention for you. So now he's helping you once again. So now he's in the, now he's in the habit of helping you. Okay. Um, you know, so everything, everything you can ask for help on from him, but not so much, but just like the, you know, the basic things ask for. So now that the date's coming to an end, your food's, you know, been taken away. Thank him profusely. Oh my God. Thank you so much for, you know, this dinner. It was lovely. You know, this is a very nice place you've taken me to. Thanks for, you know, picking out that meal. It was superb. It was a stupendous da -da -da -da. Um, and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, it was so cute how you were trying to get the waiter's attention for me. I really appreciate that. Um, you're such a gentleman. Okay. Put him in the gentleman category because now everything he does after this point has to be gentleman like. So if he was just going to rush to like ask you to have sex with him or, you know, blow you off or something um, after he got rejected for the sex. Now he can't because you have put him up to the gentleman title and he has rescued you and helped you and, and you were the damsel in distress. So now he feels heroic. So now he feels a little bit invested in you, even though you've only been on one date. Okay. So now that the date's coming to an end, now you need some more help. Okay. So, um, you don't ask, you don't, when the check comes, you just look at him like this because you've already called him a gentleman. That means he have to pay. And you know, if he's a sugar daddy, he's going to pay you anyway. Um, but if you're trying to apply this to a regular man, just watch him and smile, watch him pay and smile. Like, Oh, I look, I so admire you. You paid and da, da, da. you know, if he's a sugar daddy, you know, he's already gonna pay. But, um, so now, um, the date's over. You're getting to ready to, um, you know, go out, walk out, grab his hand again. This was so nice. Thank you so much. And, um, you know, whisper in his ear and say something. I don't know. Like, um, I can't wait to see you again or something like that. Can't wait to see you again. And he was like, well, wh who says the date has to end? And da, da, da. So he's not going to want the date to end right there. If he does, you know, it's because he's old or whatever, then say, I can't wait to see you again. And hopefully next time we can do something else. Like, um, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then, you, then you'll, then you'll say, oh my God. Like if you go to a place with valet parking, oh my God, I don't have any cash for valet, you know, start looking through your purse and be like, oh my God, I have to go to the ATM. And, da, 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 da. He'll, and he'll be like, no, don't worry. I'll take care of it because he's used to taking care of you, you know? Um, so then when you get home and you text him or, or he texts you or you call each other, that's when you start discussing the money. Like, did you have a great time? I sure did. Da, 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 da. You know, I think, we will really have a lot of fun together. And I really think that we're a good match and we have great chemistry. And I feel like, you know, um, there's more to be discovered between us. You know, if you want to take this further, you know, let's discuss it. Okay, you're leaving it open. And now he, he likes you. You made him feel like the man. He's used to giving to you now. So he's going to give you, you know, well, how much, you know, how much do you want to get monthly or, you know, how much money do you need? Or do you want me to help you pay your bills? You know, we can see each other this many times a month and da, 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 da. You know, then he'll want to make the arrangement after you make him feel like the man. Okay. That's how you do it. You don't ask him as soon as you show up and he don't even know you or you hadn't even made him feel happy in it. Okay. Um, you do it after because, you know, first of all, you got a good meal, you got some good wine, you, um, you know, you probably impressed him and he, chances are he's going to call you back if he was attracted to you. And now that he's had a taste, a little sample, a little bite, 
of being seen out in public with you and all the stares that he's getting and you know his, his status you know his, his status is feeling like higher he's going to want you to join him again you know so remember you're in competition with other women so you've got to outshine them all which means when you show up to your date you have to look better than your profile picture if you've met him online and you have to be very happy and excited to be with him and let him help you in every way during the date okay and like i said once he texts you after the date then you can ask for the money okay so now if you want to get it out of a boyfriend oh my god or a husband that's that's not used to giving you stuff that you want it's gonna be a little harder okay you're gonna have to probably you know make some deals <laughs> but as far as sugar daddies you got to do all of you got to you have to really impress them and make them feel like they they found the jackpot okay okay how to ask a guy to pay for you to get your hair and makeup done for the date okay if you if you are very attractive already they're not and they are and they are very rich or they have a lot of money okay you got to know who to ask this stuff to because y'all are asking you know sugar daddies who are not super rich for stuff like this you know i think i got some i got hair in there y'all are asking sugar daddies that are not super rich to pay for stuff before they even meet you okay this sometimes if you've already met him and this is like another meeting then you can probably feel more comfortable asking but if you've never met him before you know I would not ask for all of that because it's, first of all, it's kind of a little bit ratchet. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Okay. A little bit ratchet because it's something that, you know, should already be a part of your beauty regimen on the regular. If you're a high maintenance woman, you know what I mean? um i would go more for i'm gonna put it back on it was it was bothering me because i had hair in it if you're high maintenance already that should, stuff should already be done every week because that's just who you are okay so i would go more for shoes or clothes okay you can ask for money for shoes or clothes and then go get your hair and makeup done okay i mean and nails done you don't have to tell them what you're doing with it because first of all that sounds ratchet you know like that would be like a man asking for money for a haircut, you know. I mean, what what man can't afford a haircut? So make sure you say it's for something else, you know. Oh, I want some new shoes. I saw these new shoes or this lingerie. Name something that they would turn be turned on by. You know what I'm saying? I need to get some new lingerie. You know, they gonna give you the money quick for that. So stop asking for hair and nail money. That's so ghetto. Okay. Um. I just did a live video on my beauty channel that will tell you the lashes and this lipstick. If y'all wanna go check it out, it's on Ashira Star. Just Ashira and then Star, that's my beauty channel. Um, it should be up now. So yes, you don't ask for hair and nail money, especially to you know certain guys. Um, like I say, it's for something else thank you um so let me see some more questions thank you i'm gonna tell y'all about this wig later on if y'all are you know later on should we go somewhere on the outskirts Where? okay i'm going out with one this week but he doesn't match me in looks i feel kind of weird going out with him that's the whole point if you if you can't date a sugar daddy because of his looks then you shouldn't be trying to date a sugar daddy you know what i'm saying 
that's the whole point. You know, you got to get past looks because if you take him on the outskirts, he's going to know, you know, he wants to show you in, in the city, you know, you're going to be compensated for his ugliness. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're the you're the you're the prize. It's like an ugly guy stepping out of a a Ferrari, a Ferrari. Blah, blah, blah. You know, same thing. Um, someone says he's big. Okay, so okay, a lot of people will ask for little things like that, but that's like that's why, you know, you want to keep the hair and nail thing. Just say it's for something else. I promise you, you'll be better off. Hmm. Somebody's in here soliciting himself. <laughs> okay. I got a sugar daddy, but I want another one who will take good care of me. So how do I make the one I got to spend more money on me and send me allowance each week? Um, well, <coughs> if they're not already doing that, they don't place high value on you. You know, that should have been started when you first start seeing him. You know what I'm saying? Dinner and drinks is not having a sugar daddy. Y'all forgive me, I'm drinking my kids' juice. <laughs> so you can't call him a sugar daddy unless he's giving you money already. Um, or your honor allowance. You can ask him. You know, you remember the whole intro of this video when I was saying make him help you with everything leading up to the financial? You know, um, start off with things that are free like could you help um could you recommend a such and such and such and such oh do you know a good place to do this or um could you help me pick out something on the menu or you know send him a picture um what shoes do you think my feet will look sexy in and like send him two pictures of shoes you know get his opinion okay Keep getting his opinion, but don't bug him, you know, to death. But always ask, be asking him for stuff, right? Free stuff, you know, like information, opinions, da da da. da. So then, when you ask him for money, he's automatically just going to respond, you know. And since you've become so dependent on him for everything else, he's going to feel, he's going to feel able to be able to help you because now you've established this, you know, help me relationship, okay? And you didn't you didn't come off first asking for money. It was more you wanted him, his opinions, his mind, his his ideas. You know, you valued him. Now you need some money. Okay. So you the next question, you know, he's gonna think, he's gonna answer the text because he's all used to it. And you're gonna be like, oh my God, I have I have got a ticket or I gotta pay this ticket, and it's like this much money. Um, is it better to go to court or just not pay it at all? Like play stupid. Like, I don't know. I never got a ticket before, you know, and he'll be like, well, how much is the ticket? And, and like, I really can't afford to pay it. Let him offer to help you. Um, and I don't want my insurance to go up. So what am I supposed to do? And da, 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 da. You know, I'm really worried. And, you know, text that to him and he's going to answer back because he's so used to answering you and helping you. Okay. And he's going to offer you the money. So, you know, keep doing that. Then all of a sudden, lose your you lose your job. Don't I mean you don't really have to lose it if you have one, or if you don't have one, fake lose it. Or you know the way that you get income, however that whatever, and text him and say, "Oh my God, I just lost my job. I can't believe it. I'm gonna have to start looking for another one as soon as possible. I'm just so stressed." Will you, uh, you know, will you, do you want to meet out for a drink just so I can relieve my stress? You know, I really, um, you know, I really, I really want to see you today, you know, and he'll be like, sure, you know, and maybe he'll bring you a little something, something, 
a little some you know some money here's some money to help you until you find a job you know because now he's concerned he's taking on the role of helper blah 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 and then you can start to discuss um monthly like you know if i don't find anything you know my bills that i need to cover are only such and such and such amount of months you know i wish i could um i wish i would have saved some money but i had to help my mom or somebody be like be like the kind soul that was, you know, gave your savings away to a, a sibling or a mother or a father, you know. I had savings, but I had to help my mom because she got sick. And so, you know, now I'm in this predicament and, you know, being too nice and generous sometimes doesn't help, you know. So he's going to feel sorry for you, see you as innocent and sweet, and he's been helping you this, this far. He might as well give you some money. You know, you got to play the victim. And then that's how you can start the monthly allowance. Then you can say, okay, well, my bills are only, you know, this much a month, you know, lie. If it's too high, he might reject it. So you got to start a little bit lower, you know. Um, it's like, oh, my bills are only like $1,000 or 2000 a month, you know, but I can cut back. I can cut off some things, you know, just like you're gonna sacrifice. Oh, that's not bad, you know, maybe I can help you a little bit, you know. He's gonna offer because he's used to helping you and you're out drinking with him because you're sad and he's trying to cheer you up. So he's gonna offer solutions, okay? You don't show up to ignore somebody's problem and rub it in their face. You show up to help and to be supportive and to think you're gonna get some if you give some. <laughs> so that's what you gotta do, okay? You don't come straight up asking some dude for money and you don't even know if he likes you yet, you know. So if he likes you enough, if he likes what you look like enough, he's going to offer it straight up. OK, I'm just going to tell you all this. Men who see your picture and like online, if you meet them online or if they see you on video chat or whatever, and they like the way you look straight up, they're going to offer you an allowance right then and there. OK, if they're not sure yet and they need to see you in person and see your personality and see how you act in public, you know, if they want to date first just to see how the public reacts to you guys together. It's because they're unsure. So that's why some women have to go out first and woo them with their personality and get them used to giving them stuff and helping them, making them feel like the man in order to get that money. You know, it's different for each girl. There's what there's there's certain girls who will get get the money straight up without even going anywhere um, just for the promise. You know, then there's some girls that got to work for it. So depending on which one you end up, you know, you might not have to work for it with one and you might have to work for it with another, depending on how they look and how much money they have. So it's just different. So make sure you understand this. It's not going to be the same for every guy. You got to make sure they're super attracted to you as well. That's why you choose one who would be lucky to be seen in public with you. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be average and then go for a handsome looking sugar daddy that can probably get someone way better looking and then just say, can I have some money? No, that doesn't work like that. You got to choose one that nobody probably goes out with ever um, and make him feel like it's his birthday. Okay. That's basically it. It's very simple, but you can't ask straight up. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> and if they want to ask about, you know, when are we going to be intimate or when, when are we going to get to know each other better? They'll bring up the money. You know what I'm saying? They'll be like, well, how much do you think that you're going to need monthly, you know, to be happy? You know, what, what kind of arrangement do you want to make? That means they were ready to get down and dirty with you and they need to, um, secure you okay and it doesn't mean that you have to do anything with them it's just a hope okay they're hoping that's just that's the thing i'm ready to roll at any time if you're going to give it to me <laughs> um so make sure you're not rushing into it because if you rush into it it's a turn off ladies it's it's a super turn off if you rush into asking for money from a, from a man. If you get mad, because to, maybe to you, you're beautiful. And this is going to be rude. But maybe to you, you're beautiful. But maybe to him, you're average. 
So you can't automatically assume that he finds you super attractive, you know, and just demand some money. Can I have online? You know, let him come to you or like I said, after the date, you know, um, then you discuss it. Yeah, I always do a fake name. I would do a fake name until, you know, I trusted the person. Been seeing them a long time and I'm okay with it. But don't ever give out your real name, you know. They could look you up, see if you got a record, you know, all that kind of stuff. So you don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Fake phone or app, phone app that gives you um, a separate number. Yeah, keep making promises if you don't want to do anything with them. Give them hope. Take them lingerie shopping with you. It's like, I really want to, I really want to, you know, our night to be special. So let's go to Victoria's Secret and pick out some really nice stuff for us. Say us. When you get there, you get all the perfume, the sports bras for working out or whatever. Then get like one thing for, you know, just in case y'all ever have to do anything with each other. <laughs> and be like, this is what I want. You know, and you know what a man fantasy is. You know, men's fantasy, they see the Victoria's Secret models. They see, you know, the women on TV. You know, that's what they want to look at and be seen out in public with. So make yourself look accordingly if you want some money, you know. And if you want clicks online and stuff like that. So, um, if you got to wear a wig, wear a wig. You know, I said that in all my videos. But remember, the more they're attracted to you, the more you can get. So, if you're average, you want to make yourself look extra good. I don't care if you got to wear a waist trainer, suck it in, put some wig and makeup on, um, change your voice. This is going to get you the cash, okay? someone says i i gave money to ladies in the past oh okay mm -hmm. ladies don't don't fall for the okie doke <laughs> um because men men with real money aren't in these comments <laughs> okay okay <clears throat> if he doesn't contact you after a first date about an arrangement and just wants to chit chat, tell him you're busy because that's an emotional relationship right there. Just chit chatting. You know, people pay people to chit chat. Okay. I get paid to chit chat. Okay. Um, so no, you know, you don't chit chat. You just say, you know, um, I'm very busy right now. I would love to see you again if you want to discuss the, you know, the details of that. That's hint, hint, clue, clue. I need some money. So I would love to see you again. I would love to talk to you. I'm very busy. Um, but I would love to make some time for you if you want to discuss, uh, you know, where this is going. That's how you do it. Um, cut them off. You don't chit chat with them. Why? Because that's called an emotional relationship for free. Uh, sometimes guys just want a woman to talk to. And in order to get that time, they need to be giving you something in return, you know. So if they just want to chit chat, that's when you say, you know what? I really like you. You're very handsome and da 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 da. But, you know, I need to know, you know, where we want to take this. You know, what type of relationship or what type of arrangement um, do we want, keep saying we, 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 do we want, that means it's open for discussion. Okay. Keep using the word we, that is the key. And he'll be like, well, what do you mean? Well, you know, I would love to sit here and talk to you and, you know, um, get to know you a lot better and let you get to know me a lot better, tell you some things about me. But, you know, I do have, you know, some things to do. But if you want to discuss where this is going, you know, I would really love to invest more time with you. If you want to discuss, you know, the details of our relationship. And he's going to be like, 
you mean like the arrangements or whatever, whatever, what do you want? What do you need? What do you expect? Then that's when you tell them. Well, I would love to be able to, you know, relax and not have to worry about bills or blah, 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 blah. So would you mind giving me enough money to cover my bills for the month or this much money every time, you know, we meet up and spend some time together, blah, 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 blah. So you come to that agreement and then you say, okay, well, um, let's meet tomorrow. You don't, you don't, not, you still don't chit chat with them until you get the money. Let's meet tomorrow or sometime soon and we can start things off and go from there. That means bring me some money. That's how you do it. Um, you have to be very smooth and suave about it. Okay. <laughs> somebody said I'm a myth or somebody's myth. Okay. And you can't be so rude at first. That's for later when they don't give you what you want. Okay. That's for later when they're already hooked. You gotta, you gotta be very smooth at first. Okay. Very seductive at first and you know the reason they're wanting to chit chat with you is because you make them feel good you know and they got to pay for that feeling so make sure you understand you know and then if you give them an opportunity to see you again and you you want some money they're going to bring it you know um so make sure you're doing it right and make sure the guy really wants you you know what I'm saying? Because if he doesn't, he's not going to respond back. He's not going to follow your lead because he's not even attracted to you. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you look like your profile picture or better, not worse. You got a profile picture up there from 1999 and you look totally different. Take it down and put one up from last week. Okay. <laughs> dude how do I become more assertive you have a goal in your mind okay a goal you don't think about what people are going to think about you you don't think about anything else you like I said y'all have to have a goal the goal is to get the money if this was your job and you were going to get fired if you didn't get such and such money from this man you wouldn't care about any of that you got to get the money okay it's not about what they think about you. It's like, okay, got to make this sale, you know, or I'm going to get fired. You're not thinking about what the customer thinks about you. Oh, what if they think I'm mean? Or what? It doesn't matter, okay? Get Keep your mind on the goal. And if you can't do that, maybe you're not made for having a sugar daddy. You know what I'm saying? So you got to work on that. What do they say? Closed mouths don't get fed. Mm -hmm. It's your job. When I used to be a mortician, I don't. I, do you think I would like sitting in a room with a bunch of people crying, trying to sell them a five thousand, six thousand dollar casket? No, but I did it. Okay, and I sold them one for more. So that's what you got to do. You got to go for it, no matter what. You have a goal. That's it. How do you get them to pay for plastic surgery? The the best ones for that are in the strip club because they are already looking at fake boobs and fake butt that they want to take home that none of them will let take home unless they talk about some serious money. So, you know, the best place to find those type of sugar daddies are in the strip club because they like it. And, you know, they're willing to pay for the surgery if that's the kind of woman that they like. You know, So I would be like, you know, take them to a strip club and be like, oh my God, I love her boobs. I wish my boobs look like that. Can you imagine my boobs looking like that? I would just put your face in between them and blah, 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 you know, like, really? Yeah, if I had some boobs, hint, hint. Well, how much are boobs? <laughs> I don't know, let's ask this young lady. Hi, who does your boobs, you know? Oh, Dr. Such and such. Oh, oh my God. Do you have his number or do you know where his 
office is and he'll and she'll be like yeah it's you know such and such and such and such you know and he'll see the glow on your face and the happiness and getting this doctor's information for some boobs or some butt or whatever and she'll you'll be like well how much was it was it expensive she'll be like oh they do payment plans then ding 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 now he knows it's affordable so he might be able to do it if it's on a payment plan okay so you got to get a third party involved when you want boobs get the stripper on your side you know be like tell him to buy me some boobs you know tell him to buy me some boobs and and then y'all will be laughing it'll be funny it'll be a memory then you know he'll consider it now he knows it's a play, payment plan he can put it on a credit card maybe a business account <laughs> so he's going to start thinking about it and that's going to be a fun memory in his mind you remember when we were at the strip club and we were talking to that stripper about fake boobs and you were begging for boobs <laughs> you know it's a memory it's a fun it's a fun thing so make it fun don't just sit there and pressure him. i want some boobs can i get some boobs can i get some butt you know make it an adventure you know that's how you gotta do it take them somewhere where there's fake boobs and butts everywhere get that stripper on your side okay two women against one man there is no competition you're gonna get what you want i promise you all right um and she's gonna do it because you're gonna tip you like give her a bigger tip <laughs> so that's what you gotta do okay um Someone asked me if I was gay. Going to a, a strip club does not make you gay. I mean, maybe if you're a man, but women go to strip clubs all the time. Because that's where the men with the money are. Okay. A lot of them. Ones that want to give away money. Okay. I'm a small cup, so I have to work on my waist and butt. Okay. <laughs> And this is genius. I still have pick me qualities. Well, you gotta get out of that. You gotta stop hanging around pick me people. Go hang around some people that's all about the money, okay? Go to places where broke guys can't get in, you know, like I always say. Um, how do you put off the things you don't want to do and get what you want? Guys keep asking me to kiss me and get more, getting more aggressive. Have straight up standards in the beginning of the anything. You know, I don't kiss until I'm in a relationship and I can't get in a relationship until, unless the guy I'm in a relationship with pays all my bills. Have your standards straight up from the start. That means you can't kiss me until you in a relationship with me paying my bills. How you doing? That's it. Mm-hmm. You have to have the rules from the beginning. You can't, you can't not have rules, okay? When they first meet you and they go for the kiss, be like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't kiss unless I'm in a relationship, you know? Um, you know, but I, I hug and like stick your boobs out. He'll take that hug. And then I, you know, hold his hand. And when he tries to go for the kiss again, like, uh, 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 you know? Got to be in a relationship. Well, I really like you. Maybe we could be in a relationship. Oh, okay. Well, you know, if we're going to be in a relationship, you know, I, I do have certain things that I like, you know, my man to do for me in the relationship. You know, are you sure you can handle it? Well, what is it? You know, well, I need you to handle all my bills, you know, and They'll be like, I can do that. How much is it? You know, I can give you this much a month. And you're like, oh, like, okay. Well, you know, I'm gonna think about it. Or let's, you know, I will really consider this. You know, this is very kind of you. Da 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 da. I'm I'm really ready to be in a relationship, and I have so much to offer and give. You know, I have all this passion pent up for a long time that I haven't been able to release on anyone. Because they could never meet my standards. You know, it's very frustrating. I'm so ready to get in a relationship. They're going to rush to that ATM quick. You know what I'm saying? So then once they give you all that money every month and you don't really have to do anything, 
you can give him a little kiss. But as long as you're in charge of it, it's better. Like I always said on my other videos, if you're in charge of all the advances as far as romance, it's better. You know, it's like, um, you know, if you kiss him first, like maybe on the cheek or on the mouth or quick and pull back, that's good, right? He's not going to try to attack you all the time. You got to initiate it and then get in and get out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. I need to have a pen and paper when watching your videos. Oh, yeah. Okay. What would you recommend purchasing a fundraiser ticket to meet rich men? Would you recommend purchasing a fundraiser ticket to meet rich men? Mm. Um. Mm. I feel like it's a good idea, but I feel like there's other ways that you don't have to do that, you know? Uh, so that's just me, you know, maybe wherever the fundraiser is, you can hang out over there. Um, or because some of those fundraiser tickets are expensive and you don't want to do that and then get nothing out of it. That's not good business, right? So, um, try to get invited to one for free. Or go to charity events because you don't have to buy anything. It's just charity or donations and um, things like that. Or a lot of times, let me tell y'all a good place to meet rich people, okay? And it's not that expensive. Donate to the animal shelters, okay? Or if you've, are, if you've adopted a pet from an animal shelter, donate to them like at Christmas and stuff like that. And... I mean, donate to them like once or twice a year and they will send you a lot of times they have like these big parties or Christmas parties to get donations for animals. And it's like a black tie affair or whatever, whatever. And sometimes I'm not all the time, but they do have like a Christmas party and a fundraiser and they invite you for free, you know, and you show up and y'all know rich people have expensive dogs. They like dogs and they donate to animal shelters and stuff like that. So you can probably find some there for free, you know, donate to little charities here and there. And sometimes they'll invite you to these fundraisers and parties that you will meet other people that give to charity, you know, and most of the time they got money. So that's a good, easy way as well. You know, a lot of people need tax write-offs. So, um, Find out where a lot of people donate to, you know. Uh, most people have a cause. So um, that's easy. Just pick a random one and you'll get those invites, you know. Also business networking, you know. Um, something, something association networking. It's like a lawyer or attorney networking, um, you know, client and blah, 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 networking, you know, doctor, da, 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 networking, you know, whatever, whatever. You can look them up in like the hotel, um, go to the different hotels and look at the events that are happening there and see what's going on. Business, business events, business networking events, physicians, uh, events or physician, um, you know, uh, whatever in hotels, just Google that in your local city and then just show up. Bam. Um, you never use, do I use my real name? Well, I think if you meet in person, it's probably, um, if you're going to use I don't think you should use your real name. You could just use your first name and, you know, just say, my name is such and such. And then if you want to give your real name later, just say that was your nickname, you know, um, or give a nickname. But if you don't trust people, like, 
and you're just gonna kind of use the guy and you're not really looking for something serious and da, da, da. yeah give a fake name you know but if you're trying to look for a real relationship and stuff like that maybe you can give your real name but or change up the last name or give your maiden name i don't know but i like that's just something up to y'all okay that's up to y'all so i always suggest giving a nickname you know things like that if they ask you your full name because you're in a business environment and da 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 you know you could make up a fake one you know um if you're not comfortable but it's totally up to you it's just however you feel for me if i'm doing it just to get money just to get this money i'm not giving my real name How do you make it know your intentions when seeking a sugar daddy? Um, just you gotta you gotta work it in there. Like y'all have to have a plan before y'all go out. Y'all have to sit down, get some paper, and think of scenarios and how to hint and drop clues about you wanting him to take care of you. You know, how can you sneak it into a conversation? How can you uh, use certain words to let him know that you like generous men? And da 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 da. You know, you can't just go out and then say, "Uh, well, what kind of arrangement do you want to make with me?" No, no. You gotta like, oh, that's so cute. You know, I can imagine. You know, oh, you know, you're so nice. You're so tall. Da da da. Um, I really like what you have on. It's very nice. Maybe you can take me shopping. You have some good taste. You know, sneak it in. Stop asking for straight up, okay? Sneak it up in there. Ooh, I love those shoes. Is that Italian leather? I need to go shoe shopping with you. You have great taste. You know, and sneak it in, you know. Um, ooh, I really like this restaurant. Ooh, I really like this hotel. I really like this place. It's very nice. I bet you know, one night in this hotel would actually cover all of my bills. Now you know, now he knows how much your bills are, and if he can afford it, and he might offer if it's going to get him laid, you know what I'm saying? Sneak that stuff in there. <laughs> I, that's what I did with James. I was like, you know, I really hate to leave you and go. I have to go find a job. I really hate to leave you because I got to drive back all the way on the other side of town. And, you know, I I drive all the way over here and all the way over there. I just wished that I didn't have to go to work anymore. You know, you know, my bills are only this much. I sh you know, psh, that's it. Yeah, like I could spend the whole day with you. We could do this. We could do that. You know, I could be waiting on you when you get home for lingerie. You know surprise you and stuff if i didn't have to work all day really mm -hmm. well that's not a lot of money your bills are very cheap so here you go don't don't you don't have to go find a job that's what he told me you know you don't have to go to work so like but you got to get them hooked you know you got to get them hooked on your personality you got to look a lot better you gotta be like you know their dream girl otherwise it's gonna be hard so pick your victim accordingly. Okay. At first he offered, then hesitated, but then I wouldn't return his calls. Then I told him I don't date men who aren't true to their word. He was like, hold on, I got it for you now. Okay. See, so, you know, if they promise you something, make sure they deliver on it or cut off all communication. You know, because some people will try to trick you too. Thank you. Someone says they like my hairdo. Bessie, I, I know you, Bessie. I seen you. I was talking to you a few minutes ago. Um, this is a real human hair wig. I'll give y'all the details on this very soon. Okay, if y'all want to know, I love it too. Y'all, I love it too. <laughs> Have you found a rich man who's asking me that? You support supposed to be an expert oh me you're asking me um 
but I'm poor. Okay. Well, I'm poor. I'm so sorry. I'm poor. Um, no, I have not found a rich man yet. Darn it. But I will soon. Promise you that. Um, actually, I'm married. I've been married for a while. And you're probably new to the channel. Um, so I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I married and I'm at home at, in the middle of the daytime, making a video. So first of all, that should tell you, I don't have to work. Second of all, um, if I was poor, you know, I'd probably be at somebody's job right about now trying to get this money. So I don't know about that. <laughs> Why am I poor? Because I'm black. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. But she's not super hustling. What? What kind of language are you speaking? But she's not super hustling, clipping rich guy. What is that? I'm not hustling at all. I'm married. <laughs> I already hustled. I already finished my hustling. I'm done. Now I just collect the check and pass go. Now I'm helping other people hustle. You know? So. <laughs> So yeah, I guess they're gone, but yeah. So you help other people get to that point too. You know, you might not land a millionaire, but you might land somebody that's going to take care of you for the rest of your life. You know, you might not meet, you know, somebody who has a yacht, but you might meet somebody who owns their own business and can buy you a nice house and a car and you don't have to work, you know, aim for the stars, land on the moon, shoot for the stars, land on the moon, shoot for the stars, land in the stars. But as long as you're shooting for something beyond the moon and you, you know, you're good. No matter where you land, you're going to land somewhere better than you are. <laughs> right? So, you know, if you're a pick me chick and you've been paying for guys for the last 10 years or you live, you, you know, 50, 50, or you're not in a relationship that's going to benefit you, then start aiming higher. You know, you're going to get something better at least. You know, if you can't get somebody to pay all your bills, at least 75% of them is better than none. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to tell y'all to only go for millionaires, to only go for guys that are going to do this. this and that. I'm saying aim for the stars, land on the moon. You know, you don't have to marry a millionaire. You don't have to marry somebody who, you know, will tell you, um, I'm going to buy you all this, you know, diamonds and stuff. Marry someone that can take care of you or benefit you you know what i'm saying if it benefits you to have a man paying 80 percent of the bills and that's as good as you can get then go for it you know it's better than paying his bills okay <laughs> so how do you get a rich man to support your business i have a bottle water brand and I would help with getting off the ground. You got to appeal to him first. Like you got to sell him your idea, you know, um, make him buy from you first, make him see how successful it is. So first of all, he's like, Oh, you know, I sell bottled water, you know, act like it's no big deal. Okay. You can't be all serious about it. Like you're the next Oprah. Okay, it's like, oh my God, I sell bottled water. Um, you want to buy some for your office or your coworkers? Um, sure, you know, da da da. Like, yeah, here, here you go. This is this this is much money. You know, I really want to get this online and distribute it and do things like that. So let me know what they think about it. You know, do they like the water? Um, you know, what do you think about this idea? I think it's really cool. You know. Make sure you're not trying to sound like the next Oprah or entrepreneur. Make, you still sound dumb and like a little girl 
but you're excited because it's bottled water, you know, then he's going to want to help you. Then he's going to start giving you ideas, but you can't give someone ideas unless you're willing to also fund them, you know? So be like, you know what? I would really love to pick your brain and get some great ideas on how to grow my business, you know, or how to get investors or da 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 you know, still play the dumb, stupid girl and get him to think it's all his idea. Then he's going to fund you, okay? Okay. Well, that's all you got to do, y'all. I got to go soon. But... Remember, if he feels like it's his idea, he's most likely going to do it, okay? Uh, it says, what actress most represents the seductress? Mm, I'm trying to think. Okay, let me, do y'all know who, what's her name? Oh, I always forget their names. Ugh. I'm bad with names, y'all. What is her name? I can't even remember. Ugh. Anyone who's innocent but pretty and still sensual. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're trying to get money from an older guy, you know, you still have to have a little bit of innocence, you know? So, what is her name? I always forget that girl's name. Anyway. But, you know, you want to be innocent, come off a little bit less intelligent than them, a little bit bubbly, and just like, you know, um, that's what they like. Even if you're a smart, distinguished woman with like five degrees, and you, you know, you're very take charge and da 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 you can't be like that when you want some money okay <laughs> someone says ha 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 y'all just prostitutes okay someone says the lady from modern family <laughs> well see she has a whole different you know thing going on with her accent and you know that's totally different you know it could work for you if you have an accent, though. But, um, and she's super, super pretty. So, unless you're super, super pretty, this stuff don't work for everybody. <laughs> Megan Good. Yeah, she's a great example of Megan Good. Um, Reese Witherspoon, Megan Good. Okay, y'all keep saying the same people. E. what's that girl something lauren what's her name she played on this christmas as one of the sisters and then she played on medea's family something as uh chris brown i mean as bow wow's girlfriend what was her name lauren london yeah like her you know how she has that little baby voice and she looks innocent, but she's still a little bit to the point. But she's cute. And she can look sexy if she wants to. To me, that's a really good combination because she can act every, you know, she can pull any personality and claim it at, at any time. <laughs> so when she's mad, she's, you know that look she does like when she's mad or when she wants something, she'll you know, make the little baby pouty face or when she's trying to seduce somebody, she'll just look at him like this. You know, that's that's a good one because she can pull all of it off. And that's why I got a lot of guys like her. <laughs> Y'all putting on my shoes. Y'all know I gotta go. I need some new, I need some new uh, sneakers because <coughs> I, I, I was at the gym and that's the only place I wear sneakers, y'all. That's another thing. Don't wear sneakers anywhere but the gym. Or if you're walking around and outside and, the, you know. But that's the only time I wear sneakers, y'all. Um, I mean, if you bought me some uh, Balenciaga sneakers or some, <laughs> I might wear them. But that's about it. 
Okay, so New York is so hard to do that. Yeah. And yeah, I understand, you know. Just get some nice ones then, some really nice ones. Okay, some feminine ones. Okay. Chanel sneakers. Mm hmm That'll work. Uh, mostly wore flats. No. Yeah. They have the thick heels now, you know. You know, this lips this lipstick made a stain on my lips. Like I don't even need to wear lipstick. Um so thank y'all for tuning in. Um, I hope that y'all got something out of this. Thank y'all, whoever um, liked the video. Uh, if y'all are new, subscribe. And thank you guys for buying my ebook. I really appreciate it. Uh, and if for those of y'all who haven't checked it out, the link is in the comments. I mean, in the description box, if y'all want to check it out. And, um, you know, a lot of the things that we talked about in the video, you know, are kind of mentioned in the book, but like I say, you have to personalize everything according to what you look like, what the man looks like, how much money he has, if he likes you enough, you know, things like that. You got to feel them out first, you know, and remember to be versatile, like be able to pull the sweet, seductive, you know, innocent, dumb girl out. I always ask for help, even if it's with little things, to get him in the habit of helping you, you know, wanting to help you, you know, because if you're asking for free help stuff first, he's going to think that's sweet, you know, he's, then he's going to feel a little bit of responsibility for you as well, plus he's older, so he's going to start to feel a little bit responsible for you because you're not as smart or wise or experienced as he is, and he's going to feel that. So, you know, a lot of the independent women will come off as knowing everything, having everything, not needing anything from a man. And they're going to pick up on that. They're going to be like, you know, she doesn't need anything. I'm not going to offer her nothing. So um, if you come off like that, you come off too strong, you come off not needing anything from them, even if it's just an opinion, they're not going to quickly give. You know what I mean? But if they feel a sense of responsibility for you and a helplessness about you, they will give you stuff quick. I promise you. Okay. 70K. If they don't have kids, 70K is decent. And if he's in a career, not a job, but a career, I'm pretty sure it's a career. It can only go up, you know. Okay. Where you got that wig? Oh, I'm going to tell you. And you're in the group too. Are you in the group? Well, I'm going to I'm gonna let y'all know on the next video about this wig, okay? I'm going to probably do something to tell you where to get it because it's someone that I know who sent it to me to promote it, you know? It's uh, real human hair, and so they sent this to me to promote it for you guys and so that I will, give, I will have a link for you and all that good stuff so you can get you one too. And they come in all different colors different textures, different style. So I will let y'all know. All right. Okay. I'll see y'all later.